Hello there! In this video I'm going to show you how I made a Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba uh, tea set for my children and what I did to put it together and some of the things I made. So if you're interested stay tuned and um, I will walk you through it. Another thing just before we get started if you are enjoying my content and if you want to know more or see more of my videos, don't forget to like, subscribe and also press the bell if you want to get updated of new releases of videos. Um, I'll be doing more content on tea ceremony and um, the culture surrounding it in Japan. And also leave a comment below if, you're, um, if you have a question or want to get in touch. I'm always happy to talk and uh, get a conversation started. So here we go. Um, putting a tea set together is not that very difficult and I tried looking for objects that are not too expensive and I actually thought of the idea of making a Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba set because um, they had some items on sale quite cheaply. First what I did is of course, well, to make matcha you need a tea whisk and you can get more expensive ones, you can get less expensive ones. I went with a less expensive one because I'm going to use this for my children and they haven't made matcha before so they'll have to get in the habit of whisking and I'm going to be teaching them. So I got a uh, cheap starter whisk. I could have gone with a more interesting one that is handmade and um, well this is handmade as well but I mean customized at the color of the, um, the cord. This one has a standard black cord but of course to match it with the silver and pink for the demon girl Nezuko or with the green and the black for the um, the, the demon slayer Danjiro that would have been well uh, nicer but nonetheless I'm getting those tea scoops coming I, um, I ordered some handmade tea scoops that fit these colors but so first for the tea caddy for the demon girl Nezuko. This tea caddy has on the body and on the lid the pattern that is also on her kimono wear. So I matched this and also found a matching tea bowl. Now I said these things were not that very expensive. I think a tea whisk you could get around 3000 yen. A uh, simple tea scoop you can get around 800 yen, but I got the customized one, so that's about 2,500 yen. Uh, the tea caddy was around 4,000 yen, and the tea bowl that I'm going to show you now is about 5,000 yen. So those are averagely priced uh, utensils. And I also got an, uh, a napkin, and because I sewed it myself, I only bought the material for it and the material i think i got 70 centimeters and 40 centimeters so i could could make it it's quite wide actually that's the the size of it so i could make this and i think it came down to like 2000 yen instead of buying this for 10,000 or more so that's a, a good deal and then we got the the bowl so this also matches the pattern on the girls kimono so this is the pink set the demon girl nezuko set now for the danjiro set i of course also got the tea whisk and the tea scoop and the caddy and the bowl i like this so this is the, the tea caddy and it's pretty interesting actually because if you look at it closely, you can see that it's um, that the green on the black is hand painted. So these are actually customized, um, standard, rather cheaply uh, available caddies that have this uh, this pattern on, and it's more than sufficient for well getting my kids interested in learning. Then the tea bowl that goes with it. The Demon Girl Nezuko one was uh, white. This one is black. Rather nice bowl. Good. Sits good in the hand. Kids like it. Uh, so it's a good set. 
I also made the napkin and I will show you how I made these um, because in a way it's not too difficult to do it it's also not say absolutely easy and it uh, is a bit time consuming but once you get the hang of it it's uh, very easy to make these and you can get your own fuxa made very cheaply if you just got the material and it's very easy to get you started doing this so um, if you can do it i recommend it and it's also fun because you can create your own sets and it's um it's a nice addition to the the set itself so right i'll show you how i made these uh these napkins so now i'm going to make the uh fuxa the napkins and i've also got those in the two colors the, the color for tanjiro and for the demon girl nezuko um, first to make the fuxa i measured uh, a paper of this size, uh, the size I had to stick it together because the size is uh, 33.5 centimeters wide and 32 centimeters uh, high. So it's um, it's not absolutely square. That's how we like it in the, in our school, the Enshu school. So we have it uh, slightly um, rectangular. So I measured this uh, sheath and I put it on the uh, fabric. And for the fabric, I got these two fabrics. Of course, there. This is um, fold. This is the uh, inside, and I've created a fold on one side. Here, um, this is the fold, and so you create this kind of um, a bag, kind of, uh, of which you sew three sides, and one side is a fold, and that is how fuxa are made. So I measured, I applied this, um, this sheath on top of this uh, fabric. I drew around it and then measured two centimeters from this blue line to the side to uh, sew on. So I'm gonna, this is the blue line, this is the line that is going to be this, the edge of the fuxa and then um, 0 0.5 centimeters out uh, is where I'm going to sew. So I'm gonna sew it a bit further in rather than directly on the edge so that you get that sort of um, fuxa look and feel which I, uh, well, I'll be showing you soon. So this is the fabric for the uh, demon girl Nezuko cloth and then for my boy of course well the obvious the Danjiro uh, cloth. So same here it's in place, it's ready. Now I just have to get stitching around the edges and um, the cloth will be ready. Stitching process takes a long time. Uh, it is very arduous. So let's get into it. Brief update. So the stitching around, so you've got the finishing line. Then I stitched, it's not perfect. I'm not really a uh, great skill at this. Um, but it's just like half a centimeter out of the blue line all the way around. Just continue stitch, 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 stitch. And then at the end here, I left some larger um, pieces of thread out. Because later when I'm going to turn it over, I'm going to bring the inside. So the, the opposite corner through the middle, um, out through here. And turn it up over so I can um, bring the front. This is the back, so I'm bringing the front out. And then I'll pull those threads, close it up, and then I have my um, beautiful finished fuxa. So I'll continue on. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold the sides here on, this, uh, on these blue lines that I've created and um, iron them. So those will be the sides of the fuxa, and then I'm going to turn it over so let's get doing that so here i'm folding a crease right onto that blue line and i'm pressing it down with my iron so that it stays in place and i'm going to do that for all the edges right wonderful so 
All four edges are now done. I just got to make sure that I have, that I make beautiful corners here because they tend to flip open. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to push this corner through here, out here. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. So first of all, what I will do is I have these threads that I left over. I'm going to use those to be able to open the inside opening this here to get some access to the inside and using the opening here all right so I've got a I created my opening I have the threads so I can pull them later on I'm just going to make sure that I get this corner, make it a beautiful corner. I'm going to push it on to the other side. And then I'm going to, I'm going to send it on and get it from the hole I made here. So I'm going to go in, I've got my corner. And here's the corner, and I'm going to pull it through. And gradually, I will send on the entire thing. So the entire thing is going to come out of this tiny hole. So, so let's see that I get this other corner done just as beautifully yeah sweet that's a bit of uh, fiddly work but you get it out here it comes and then you'll be you'll be surprised actually when you've got this uh, turned over let the entire thing out of here. How much different it will look at once. Up, up. There we go. Now, there we go. And now I'm going to tend to my corners here. You see that the creases that I've created here, um, they make sure basically that the stitch is on the inside and there's a little bit of fabric and loose area here left so that that's a beauty trait of um of the fuxa basically all right one more corner to care for all right wonderful now what i'm gonna have to do later on is uh, because you see now they're folded on the to the other side what i'm gonna have to do here is well iron it properly but first, so, this is the mouth where it came out from, and I've got my threads, now I'm going to have to pull them one by one. And here it is, the finished version. This is for the Demon Girl Nezuko. And if you have a look at the edges, I've ironed it from above, and I've also made the right creases in it for the um, Inchi School. So, perfectly good at the edges. You can see here that the fold that, that I made is here, and then the stitch is somewhat inside. So, and I've got the beautiful corners. This is the, the folded side. And then we've got one more stitched edge and another stitched edge here. And the way we fold it is to have the folded side up, fold it towards us. And then we take it down the left side, again, having the folded side in our right hand. 
and then we fold it towards us as well again and then fold it like this again so that we have this um, the folded side points here on top and that's how we want to keep the fuchs up so i made a fuchs up for the demon girl now i'm gonna make another one for the danjiro one so that's it あ、出てきた。本当だ。初めてにしては上手。もうすごい、すごい、すごい、すごい。はい。で、最後はこうこうやって書いて。はい。で、茶線出して。わあ、ちょっと持ち上げてみ。うん。見せて。そうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそう
So again that I have this hole here from which I can pull through the corner. But first I'm gonna make sure that I have a good corner and that I properly fold that the other way inside. So I've brought the corner to the other side. Now I'm going to widen this hole that I kept here again. Can I also make sure that none of these really clog up. I'm going to put my finger inside so I can get the corner, the point that I'm pushing through here on the other side. And then I can pull that out. And from the moment I brought that out, there we go, look, through the hole. So the moment I brought that out, then it's just a matter of pulling the wrist so that we can reverse it. All right, and here we are, completely reversed. I just got to pay some care to the other corners, make sure that they also come out properly and beautifully. So we don't have any <clears throat> problems later on. Yeah, perfect. Very beautiful. And then... Mm -hmm. That's our fuxa. Very nice. Well, that went pretty well, actually. And there's a few things that I have to look for here. One is their needle. <laughs> Where's the needle? The other one is that I have this here. Um, and I'm going to close it up now. I found the needle in a place where it wasn't supposed to be. Not quite where it is. And it's done. I have made the proper fuxa for the Danjiro motif. And the corners came out pretty nice. And I also ironed in the creases so they can be folded properly. Both are now ready. And these will go into the set. So that's it. I made the two Fukusa for my children to match with their set. And now I can start teaching them how to whisk matcha. And have them enjoy matcha on a daily basis just like I do. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell button. And see you in another video. Enjoy your bowl of matcha.